Hey everyone, this is Jen and this is a BPD short. What is another way to validate or let somebody know that you care about them? Uh, about a couple of weeks ago now, I posted a video about one way to validate, which is asking questions. And today I want to uh, share with you another way to validate. Um, and again, why do we validate? Because validate lets the other person know that you're tuned into them, that you care about them, that what they say is important to you, that you are following what they're saying. Validation is not agreement. Uh, sometimes it can be, but um, right? Like you can validate someone without agreeing with them. So if somebody says something to you like, God, I, I'm so fat, I'm so fat. I look terrible in this, I'm so fat. And maybe they don't. Maybe they're 100 pounds and 5 foot 10, right? A way to validate them without agreeing with them is to say, you sound really insecure about your appearance right now. What's going on, right? So you've validated them by asking a question and acknowledging what they're feeling, but you haven't agreed with them. You haven't said yes you do really look fat. That's, that wouldn't be, cause that really, that wouldn't be truth, right? We don't validate the invalid, okay? But another way to very easily validate someone and to check in with them and let them know that you care is just to remember their important dates, their important stuff, right? Um, birthdays, um, a child's birth, um, the passing of a loved one, um, a doctor's appointment. You know, I have a friend and she has um, a, a dog that she's had for 12 years. And on uh, th this Thursday, she has to take the dog in for a special vet appointment because when some blood work came back on the dog, it showed elevated liver functions and some enzymes that they didn't like. And so she's a bit worried that she's going in for an ultrasound. And so, um, I've put it on my calendar on Thursday, you know, okay, I need to check in with her, see how that appointment went, you know, cause I talked to her yesterday and she was upset. And, and also, you know, here's where empathy comes in as well, because empathy is the ability to know what that other person is feeling. I have a dog of my own and I'd be devastated. Yeah, I'd be worried sick for the next four days until that appointment about what was gonna happen to my dog or if she was okay. So again, Takeaways here is validation is not always agreeing. Sometimes it can be, but primarily speaking, um, today's validation tip is just remembering your person's important stuff because that lets them know that you've been paying attention and that by following up and asking about them that you care. All right, leave me some comments below. Tell me about a time that you validated or tell me maybe about what you don't understand about validating. Talk soon.